Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited you're here today. We've got a good one, a really good one. Okay, let's talk about bees. I see one, you see one. We all do that little dance, right? The Oh No Ah Bee Get It Away dance. We've all been there. That little stinger is the stuff of nightmares for most of us. We spend our summers trying to avoid them at picnics, barbecues, you name it. That sharp little ouch is something nobody wants to feel. But what if I told you? What if I told you that getting stung by a bee might, and I mean, actually be a good thing? I know, I know, it sounds crazy. It sounds like I've been sniffing too much pollen, but stick with me. Today, we are diving deep into the wild, wacky, and wonderful world of bee stings. We're going to count down some of the most unbelievable, scientifically backed reasons why that little zap from a bee could be beneficial. I'm talking health benefits, beauty secrets, the whole shebang. So grab a snack, get comfortable, and maybe keep an EpiPen handy. Just kidding. This is all for fun and information, folks. We're going to have a laugh, learn some incredible things, and maybe, just maybe, you'll look at our fuzzy, buzzy friends a little differently by the end of this. It's going to be a fun, family-friendly ride, so let's get buzzing. You are not going to believe what's coming up next. All right, first up on our list, and this one is a real head-scratcher. You know arthritis, right? That creaky, achy feeling in your joints that makes you sound like an old wooden door every time you stand up. Well, some people are turning to bees for relief. I'm not kidding. There's this thing called apotherapy, which is a fancy word for bee venom therapy. People are willingly, on purpose, letting bees sting them on their sore spots, like their knees or their hands. Can you even imagine that conversation? Honey, what are you doing today? Oh, just heading down to the apiary to get stung a few times. Should be back for dinner. It sounds absolutely bonkers, but here's the science bit. Bee venom contains a powerful anti-inflammatory compound called melitin. When a bee stings you, this stuff gets into your system and tells your body, hey, stop being so swollen and painful. It's like a tiny buzzing personal trainer for your immune system, yelling at the inflammation to get out of town. People who swear by this say it reduces their pain and swelling better than some traditional medicines. It's wild to think that the very thing that causes a sharp pain could end up being the solution to a chronic one. Of course, this isn't something you try at home after watching a YouTube video, okay? Please don't go poking a beehive with a stick. This is done with professionals in controlled environments. But isn't that just fascinating? The idea that for centuries people have been looking at these little creatures not as a nuisance, but as a source of natural medicine. Okay, let's move on to number two. This one is all about building up your defenses. Think of your immune system like a superhero living inside you, right? It's always on the lookout for bad guys like germs and viruses. Well, a bee sting is like a surprise training exercise for your superhero. When that little stinger injects its venom, it's like a drill sergeant blowing a whistle in the middle of the night. Your immune system, which was maybe just chilling, suddenly snaps to attention and shouts, Code Red! We've got a breach! What happens next is pretty cool. Your body sends out a whole army of white blood cells to the site of the sting. They're there to fight the invader, the bee venom. But in doing so, your whole immune system gets a workout. It learns, it adapts, it gets stronger. It's like taking your immune system to the gym. It might be a little sore afterwards, that's the swelling and itching, but it comes back tougher and more prepared for the next fight, whether that's another sting or maybe even the common cold. So, in a weird way, a bee sting can act as a natural vaccine. It introduces a foreign substance, and your body learns how to deal with it, creating antibodies and a memory of the event. This process can make your overall immune response more robust and efficient. It's a bit like how in movies, the hero has to get beaten up a few times before they learn the moves to win the final battle. A bee sting is that training montage moment for your body's defenses. Cue Eye of the Tiger. Now this next one is huge, and I want to be very clear. This is all in the research phase, but it's incredibly exciting. Scientists, some of the smartest people on the planet, are looking at bee venom as a potential weapon in the fight against cancer. I know, it sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's real. They've been studying that same compound we talked about earlier, melitin, and they've found something amazing. In lab studies, it has shown the ability to destroy certain types of cancer cells. The way it works is just brilliant. 
The melitin in the venom can literally punch holes in the outer layer of cancer cells, causing them to fall apart, all while leaving the healthy cells around them unharmed. It's like a super-targeted smart bomb. Imagine a tiny microscopic drone, delivered by a bee, that only seeks out and destroys the bad guys. The potential here is just staggering, and researchers are buzzing, pun totally intended, about what this could mean for future treatments for diseases like breast cancer and melanoma. Again, we are not saying bee stings cure cancer. Let's be super, super responsible about that. This is all happening in petri dishes, and with very complex, purified versions of the venom, you can't just go out and get stung to treat an illness. But the fact that the key could be found in nature, in this tiny little creature we so often run away from, is just awe-inspiring. It gives you a whole new level of respect for bees and the incredible secrets they hold. It's a powerful reminder that there are still so many wonders in the natural world left to discover. All right, let's bring it back from the lab to something a little more down to earth our skin. We spend so much money on creams, lotions, and potions to keep our skin looking good. But what if one of the best ingredients has been flying around us this whole time? Some people with chronic skin conditions like eczema or psoriasis have reported that bee venom therapy helps them. It's that same anti-inflammatory magic at work again. These conditions are often caused by the immune system going haywire and attacking the skin, causing redness, itchiness, and irritation. When applied in a controlled way, the bee venom comes in and acts like a mediator. It helps to calm down that overactive immune response right at the source. The melitin reduces the inflammation, which can lead to less redness and less of that maddening itch. Think about it. The very thing that causes a big, red, itchy welt for most people could actually be used to treat conditions that cause, well, big, red, itchy welts. The irony is just delicious, isn't it? It's another one of those things that sounds completely backward, but makes a certain kind of sense when you dig into it. The body is a complex machine, and sometimes you need to fight fire with fire. The localized, controlled inflammation from a therapeutic sting can essentially distract and reset the body's inflammatory cycle. It's like rebooting your computer when it gets glitchy. A little jolt can sometimes be exactly what the system needs to start working properly again. Nature is just full of these weird, wonderful paradoxes. Okay, this one might be my favorite. We've talked about physical health, but what about mental health or just feeling good? Getting stung by a bee hurts a lot. We all agree on that. But what happens in your brain right after that initial shock of pain? Your body has a fantastic defense mechanism. To deal with the pain, your brain releases a flood of endorphins. Endorphins are your body's natural painkillers and they're also responsible for that feeling of euphoria you get after a great workout or a big laugh. They call it a runner's high, but maybe we should call this a sting high. I'm picturing someone getting stung, and after the initial yeoch, they just get this blissful, floaty look on their face. Whoa, man, the colors. Now, obviously, I am joking. Please do not go out seeking a sting high. That is a terrible, terrible idea. But the biological process is real. That rush of endorphins is a powerful thing. It's your brain's way of saying, okay, that was rough. Here's a little treat to make you feel better. It's nature's own little pat on the back. It's a funny thought, isn't it? That something so unpleasant could trigger a chemical reaction in your brain that actually makes you feel good. It's the ultimate silver lining. It's like stubbing your toe so hard that you forget you were worried about your presentation at work. The pain is a distraction and the endorphin rush is the bonus prize you get for surviving. So next time you see someone get stung, after you make sure they're okay, just watch them for a minute. You might just see a tiny, endorphin-fueled smile creep onto their face, or more likely a grimace, probably a grimace. Get ready for this one, because we're heading to Hollywood. You know how celebrities are always on the lookout for the next big thing in beauty, the secret to looking young forever? Well, for some, that secret is bee venom. That's right. Bee venom is being used in high-end beauty products, especially face masks and creams. They call it nature's Botox. The idea is that when a tiny, tiny amount of purified bee venom is applied to the skin, it gently irritates the surface. This mild irritation fools the body into thinking it's been lightly stung. What does the body do? It increases blood flow to that area, bringing more oxygen and nutrients. 
It also stimulates the production of collagen and elastin, which are the two proteins that keep your skin firm, plump, and youthful looking. So by tricking your skin a little bit, you're encouraging it to repair and rejuvenate itself. The result? A reduction in the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It's a multi-million dollar industry. There are stories of royalty and A-list celebrities getting B-Venom facials before big events to get that extra glow. Can you imagine lying back in a fancy spa, not with cucumbers on your eyes, but with a cream made from the business end of a bee? It's the very definition of beauty is pain, except in this case, it's just a slight tingle, not a full-on sting. It just goes to show you the things we do to look our best and to think the key ingredient is being made for free by little insects in a hive. They're the hardest working beauty consultants on the planet. So, we've gone through all these wild and surprising benefits from helping arthritis to making your skin glow. But I think the most important takeaway from all of this isn't about the stings themselves, it's about the bees. It helps us build a deeper appreciation for these amazing creatures. Bees are not out to get us, they're just doing their job. They're busy pollinating the plants that give us so many of the fruits and vegetables we eat. They are absolutely essential to our ecosystem and our food supply. A bee only stings as a last resort, a desperate act of self-defense to protect its home and its colony. It's a sacrifice play, because for most honeybees, stinging is a one-way trip. They're not aggressive, they're defensive, and they're incredibly important. So, the next time you see a bee buzzing around your garden, maybe don't immediately reach for the fly swatter. Take a moment. Watch it as it goes from flower to flower, doing its vital work. Understand that inside that tiny body is a powerful natural pharmacy that scientists are still trying to fully understand. Learning about bee stings isn't about wanting to get stung. It's about shifting our perspective from fear to fascination and from annoyance to appreciation. Respect the bee and you respect the incredible intricate balance of nature itself. And that's a wrap. How incredible was that? From arthritis relief to beauty secrets, who knew that a bee sting packed such a punch? In a good way. Now I have to say this one more time, loud and clear for the people in the back. This video is for entertainment and information only. Please do not go out and try to get stung by a bee. Seriously, that would be unbelievably silly. The real message here is to appreciate these tiny powerhouses for everything they do for our planet, from pollinating our food to potentially holding the keys to future medicines. Let's give these little guys the respect they deserve. Instead of fearing them, let's plant some flowers they like, avoid using pesticides in our gardens, and just let them do their thing. They're a crucial part of our world, and we need to protect them. So, let's appreciate them from a safe, sting-free distance, shall we? And hey, if you learned something new today and had a little fun, I'd be so grateful if you'd hit that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel out. Drop a comment below and let me know which bee sting fact blew your mind the most. And if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more fun fact adventures. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. It was a blast. Stay curious, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.